The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Premier Tag Team Championship. All right, I'm going to be honest, I'm not looking forward to this match. This is going to be a little difficult for me to... I'm still upset, okay? I'm still upset. I don't want to see this. I don't want these guys here. But I know we got a job. Yeah, punch yourself in the head. It's a good break. That's Atticus Koger. A gentleman who's been the, I'm not a gentleman, a, a cretin, a monster, who's been the bane of my existence these past few months. I've not been able to get this individual out of my mind because of the damage he's done to this company, the damage he's done to me personally, and of course his brother Otis backing him up. Uh, what happened to the culmination? They get sicker and more depraved and more power hungry every time we see them. And it's like there's no boundaries anymore to what they'll do. Well, Joe, I would never be one to, to, to place blame on anything what they did. That was far and above anything that was called for. But you did put yourself in that situation. And hopefully, System Elite knows what they're getting into and are not underestimating the challenge ahead of them, or they're going to be in for a painful, painful quick evening. Well, System Elite challenged for these tag team championships back in the month of November. It looked like they were on a way to pulling off another big upset here from their championship wrestling like they've done before. They seemed like they could have been on their way to defeating the Koga brothers. But Atticus, with a blatant shot with the championship title belt, intentional disqualification, a cowardly way to retain the championships, in my estimation. But check out the energy, check out the fun that System Elite bring to the table. They're not going to let their future in this ring bring them down. System Elite always have that positive energy, no matter where they go. Well, there's nothing wrong with positive energy. There's, there's a little bit wrong with slapping the hands of these people unless you have some sort of uh, anti-antiseptic uh, or, or maybe some Purell or something like that. But but hopefully that energy is focused because it has to be when you're going up against the Cogars. Absolutely. Uh, and we're not going to wait for an official introduction. This matchup underway, it's Ty Cross and Otis Koger. It's Edric Everhart and Atticus Koger. And obviously, System Elite upset at the fact that they could feel those championships practically slip through their fingers when Atticus took the cheap way out. And again, the Cogars want nothing to do with System Elite. System Elite, a dark horse team, but every time we see them, they take it to the competition no matter who they're up against. And that's that's one thing I will give them credit for. They're taking it to it. They're not taking a step back, taking a back seat, taking a breather. They're taking it right to the Cogars, and that's what you got to do. I mean, these two, and, and the entire culmination for that matter, they feed off violence, they feed off pain, they feed off just sick and sadistic actions. And if you take it to them, you have a slight chance. Atticus ordering Otis to hold them together. And Atticus going to slingshot himself, but System Elite catches Atticus, sends him into Otis. Atticus, uh, I think in Atticus's mind, he's about 320 pounds. He doesn't realize he's, uh, he's welterweight sized. But he's got, oh, he's got the attitude of a seven-foot-tall, 300-pounder as Edric charges through. He uses his body weight to take down the champions. And I'll give credit right there. Leaving Ty, uh, Ty Cross, one-on-two there. A little bit dangerous, but that gave Edric time to get that momentum, fly through those ropes, and take the Cogars down. Smart strategy going into this matchup. And it's Ty now back suplex to Atticus. Cover here, championships on the line as this matchup gets settled down. Cobras won those tag titles back in the month of September in our tag title tournament. And the culmination has kept a stranglehold on them since. Although more and more teams, from System Elite to Locked and Loaded to Team Storm to Alex Jordan and Sean Phoenix and many others have staked their claim. They want a tag title opportunity in their own right as Edric gets two on Atticus. Well, there's certainly a lot of deserving teams here in Premier. But right now, the top of the mountain, I know your feelings on it, are the Cogars. Yeah. And and that's something As, that... Oh, Atticus instructs Otis to come in and strike Edric from behind. Ty's upset. And that's how quickly the Cogars can completely cause anarchy wherever they go. Uh, it certainly is anarchy. But with them, it's almost organized, planned, and orchestrated anarchy, which is... Kind of a weird way of looking at it, but 
as we just saw there, you, you, you get one of the Kogers off you and the other one's right on top. Yeah, that's Otis now, unloading, going, biting, hammering away. Sick animalistic tendencies. These guys aren't out here about competition. They don't care who the better team is. They just like maiming people. They know others' pain and displeasure and discomfort is what they hold in high esteem above all else. Well, okay, and these guys, I guess, had a rough life, and I, I do know a lot about their backstory, but that doesn't give them the right to take it out on everybody else who did nothing wrong. And there's a cover. I admit I am uncomfortable now watching Atticus because I keep replaying again in my mind the, the forearm and the, the metal sheet to the skull, and it, it just... Just to, to, to do that and to snap like that at the drop of a hat it just shows you how just how, how insane and just unstable and just animalistic these these individuals are they, they can't be trusted in society well it's not the straw that breaks the camel's back it's the millions of other straws underneath it that just weigh a person down it changes that person it oh, it well, quite frankly, it develops uh, normal human beings into what you see in front of you in the Cobras. Atticus telling the entire crowd to shut up. No positive feelings for anybody out here. If I were this crowd, I would take his advice. Otis gets a two count there. These men just have a vendetta against the world. And it's more than that just that 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 angst that the younger generation feels. It's more than just just feeling that they're owed something. It's a hatred and they put that embodiment of hatred and anger and being held down and, and their rough childhood and everybody that they stand across from that ring, whether it's system elite or even if it's you, Joe Dabrowski. And I think that's something that if people didn't understand that before, if they didn't grasp that before, they certainly saw it last month as to what Ooh. happened with you. Huge impact there. I'm not sure how big Otis Koger actually is. He's got about 250 pounds or so. And all of that velocity just colliding with Edric. Edric looked like he was in a, a minor car crash. And as much as System Elite, you know, certainly jumped from the start and had the upper hand, it's been all Koger since they got everything back in the ring. Absolutely, and Otis Koger, man, just continues to be relentless on Edric Everhard. System Elite, you know, they love having a good time. They love to, to, to you know, hashtag flannel the uh, Turner, flannel Turner's Hall, flannel uh, the Cobras, flannel their opponents, but this is more than a fashion statement here. It's a statement of violence by Atticus and Otis. And I'll tell you what, though, they aren't the only ones here that can purport violence. Well, certainly not. There are a lot of, of, of capable individuals and tag teams here in Premier, but... And you know what? There's a lot of capable individuals outside of Premier, too. Well, are you, are you, uh, perhaps dropping a scoop of some sort? I mean, I can tell from the look on your face, obviously the people don't have the same vantage point that I do, and it, there's a, there's a different look on your face, a, a look of, of determination, a look of, quite frankly, a look of sheer anger. I'm just saying, Atticus wanted to rent space in my head, he wanted to play these psychological games... He wants to convince me I'm powerless and I'm vulnerable to these uh, mental and verbal and physical attacks. The double team there, belly to belly overhead. After the German, you can sense the violence, the aggression as Ty saves his buddy. But, you know, the Cobras want to try to change my life for the worse. Who can play at that game? I can't compete with them physically. They beat my ass, obviously. Hey, come on now. I have my ways. Well, on, I would say taking ways outside of, of, of you stepping to the Cogers, that was certainly a scary scene, and and it, it's not a scene that you need to be in. As, as a guy that that, that that Matt that makes matches here, that, that that makes things happen, you can't put yourself in that scenario because without you, Premier would be in shambles. I guess, oh, just, mocking Ty Cross and. Meanwhile, Otis is having his way with Edric Everhard. That was a two count only. And Joe Edric's been in there the majority of this matchup, and I don't know how much he yeah. can take from these two. And I would love to see, I don't care, I would love hey, to see on, a system Edric. elite victory. I would love to see the titles change hands right here tonight as Atticus on, just Edric. 
blatantly dis what you want to do that, disrespectfully slapping Edric in the face and blaming it on all these people. And Edric fires back. I think System Elite would be great representatives of the premier tag division. Much more so than the Cobras, who are all about themselves in a fireman's carry slam. Edric may have an opening. Well, if there was a time to make a tag, this is it. It's been Atticus and Otis all over Edric Everhart, and Edric has to make a tag. You know, Ty Cross, obviously the fresh man, been trying to get in there a couple times, unable to do so, but here he goes now. Otis is in, as is Ty Cross. And Cross, he's the aggressor of his team, and he's uh, having his way with Otis. All right, let's see it. And Ty Cross, not afraid of guy to, to, to not afraid to oh. throw hands. Atticus, see you later, pal. Oh, Atticus able to hang up Ty on that top rope. Duck of the swing, full Nelson slam, nicely done. Atticus deserves that and about a thousand more. Well, here, here's the two powerhouses, the two burly boys of the team, if you will. Otis and Ty Cross exchanging heavy-handed forearms. And Ty Cross the cross bottom. Could we be about to see new champions? Well, it's very possible. Ty Cross feeling it right now. Edric got himself together there on that apron as much as possible. But they need to speed this up. They can't take their time against the Cogers, and there's part of the reason right there. Ty sent to the outside. Atticus was waiting. And the, the brawl continues on the floor as Otis and Edric are jockeying for position. This match is completely broken down. Ty just got dropped on the guardrail. Forehead first in the ring. Otis has Edric dazed and confused on the second turnbuckle. And Edric's still firing back. Good grief, this is physical. You know, you gotta say, there's something different that you're seeing out of Edric Everhart and Ty Cross in this matchup. Edric in a fly. Oh, Otis. Catches Edric off balance at the last possible second. And he caught the back of that knee, a good way to tear ligaments. Oh, I can't watch this. Well, obviously an all too familiar sign for Joe Dombrowski. I'll be back. But, well, that, that's gonna do it. The Cogers with the three count. Joe Dombrowski's left the broadcast booth. Well, Otis picks up the victory for his team. Cogers are still your premier tag team champions. And as I said, Joe Dombrowski has left the broadcast, but not quite sure where he's going. Hopefully he's not, well, he's not looking for a round two of what we had seen last month, but whether he likes it or not, whether anybody likes it or not, those are still the premier tag team champions. As we see the mask, obviously everybody knows it. Instead, you came out here and you beat the hell out of me. 
You gave me a concussion. You hurt me. You left me laying. And that was your choice. But remember, boys, I always get the last word. See, what I can do, there's a lot I can do. I can slip you those tag team titles. I can fire you right now. But I'm not going to do that. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. You guys are going to leave. You're going to go somewhere else. You're going to cause the same problems you've caused here, only worse. And I love this business too much to let you Shut, guys do that. Shut the hell up! I'm tired of hearing you run your damn mouth. I'm tired of these people running their damn mouth, thinking that they know what the hell we've been through. You, thinking that you know what we've been through. You have no idea. It's because of you. It's because of these people. It's because of that locker room that we are more dangerous than we have ever been. Hold on, hold on. I have no idea. Keep in mind the word I said out there to set you off. Keep in mind the name I said from your past that you tried to bury, that you tried to suppress. See, what you guys forget is I came in that ring and I said, I used to be a lot like you, and that's because I know your story. I read the newspaper archives. I saw the TV clips. I read the police blotters. I know where you guys came from, and I know that dark path that you tried to suppress. So the next time you think you're vulnerable, the next time you think I'm a victim, you remember, I know where the bodies are buried. And if you don't want your past brought back into the forefront, don't try me, because I can make sure this entire building and this entire city knows your dark secrets. But you know what? Because I promise you, gentlemen, for crossing me and crossing the line, 2018 is going to be the worst year of your careers. I will make sure of it. It will be torture. It will be hell for, for both of you. And I'm not going to get the luxury of telling you why. But it's going to start real, real soon. And you know what? If you two and if all of you meet me back in this building on February 3rd, then, then I'll tell you what's in store for you guys. And I guarantee you, it's something that may change you and may change especially you forever. Because you're going to learn there are consequences and repercussions for your actions. Shut up! February, you're going to let us know our future. All these people are going to make it. But because of you running your dumb ass mouth, you're not going to make it. Otis, let's finish what the hell we started. Well, well wait a minute. I I'd said we don't need a round two. And thankfully back up in a sense as we see crumbles into Farge. We know exactly the, the issues between those two teams. And they may have just saved Joe Dombrowski.